Hi everyone, welcome back to Jason Morgan Wildlife Art. I've had quite a few people ask me to show exactly how I set out the studio, so I thought I'd shoot a short video just showing that um, painting area of my studio. Before we get on with that, I'd like to just make sure everybody knows you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and the links for those sites will be in the description below. So let's take a look around the studio. Okay, on this side I've just got a, a small area just for my brushes, uh, paint tubes and, and things like that, things that I can reach quite easily. So you can see I've just got my paint tubes in there. Other things like my acrylic paints that I do the underpainting with. And, and my brushes. I don't know why I collect so many brushes, I, I just don't like throwing them away, but I only generally use just five, six, seven different brushes ever really. And this little stand is just somewhere where I can put the brushes if they've got wet paint on them. And I, I'll just stand them there. Pull the miles stick out the way. So that I haven't got to keep washing them all the time. I just keep a, a small tub of odorless paint thinners there. And my um, walnut medium, which I will also have in just a small tub. So that's that side. As you've probably seen on my other YouTube video, I've got a glass palette which I take now to the actual drawing board and that just makes it much easier for me to actually reach across for paints and go straight back to the painting. The drawing board is really a technical type drawing board so it's got areas at the back so I can actually adjust the positioning quite easily of it and take it from vertical to actually completely horizontal and also adjust the height as well. My paintings are generally just taped to a piece of MDF board so that's just freestanding by there and more often than not I like now to actually paint from a computer monitor just because it gives me a much brighter um, tone to work from more like seeing the actual thing in real life rather than a, a printed out piece of paper and the monitor is on an arm which is also adjustable and it just goes to any angle and shape so that I can position that and get it right by the canvas for when I'm painting. If I wanted to paint from a photograph I'd move that out the way and I would just have the photograph on a piece of board or something and I'd have, I'd have that by the side and just move everything across a little bit. But as I mentioned, I do generally paint mostly from a computer screen now, just for that vibrancy. So there's nothing special about my setup at all, but it's everything is at hand and I think that's quite important and to have the palette as close to the paint in as possible. So that just about wraps that up. I'll pop some links in the description for my things like brushes, my drawing board and, and things like that so you can get these things easily yourself. Also don't forget that you can find me on my webpage jasonmorgan.co.uk where you'll find loads of videos and ebooks and reference photo CDs and, and things like that and also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Don't forget to check out my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any new videos. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll speak to you all again real soon.